Hi everybody, good evening. Hello, hello guys. Hello teacher. Hi everybody, good evening. How are you? Hello teacher. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Como están? How are you doing today? Everything good? Fine, good. Everything fine? Very good, teacher. Very nice. Good. Okay, super, super good. So, sec. All right. So, uh, thank you so much. Gracias por estar conectados. Gracias por estar desde super tempranito, you know. I saw um, a couple of you guys, and that's super, super cool. We are going to have class number two today. So I see Sandra's, Delmi, I think Renee is coming, Moses Brian, um, Jerixa, all right. Daisy, Idania, Ingrid, thank you, and Jackie. Jocelyn as well, nice. That's super cool to have you guys. Um, Jerixa, just I didn't get yesterday. Uh, como prefiere que le llame? So, what do you prefer? Jerixa, good night. Okay, okay. Jerixa, that's a very, um, what peculiar name, you know, no, it's muy común, so it's very interesting. Um, Idania, what do you prefer? Yeah. Idania or Natalie? Natalie. Okay, okay, that's all right. So you prefer the second Thanks. one. And we said yesterday that Sandra Elizabeth is going to be Elizabeth, so that's okay. So um, Daisy is coming, okay, super, super cool. All right, guys, I'm super happy to see you today. We are going to get started with class number two of module number two. So como siempre lo hacemos, we will check attendance, okay? Vamos a revisar asistencia super quick. Me ayudan siempre, please, with your cameras para que nos quede constancia that it's you right there que están por ahí. And, um, okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Danny. Hello, hello. Okay, so let me go ahead and read your names y me ayudan con un present, please. So my first person is Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Norberto? Welcome, Thank you. Sandra Abigail? Welcome, teacher. Ah, oh, nice. Ahora. Miss, me alegra que ya la podemos no, escuchar no. super fine. Y espero que, que ya no tenga muchas dificultades with your phone or with your internet. Nice. Marvin? Todavía no. René, Brian. Creo que Brian está por ahí. Ok, thank you so much. René. Present. Thank you, René. Daisy. Here. Thank you. Uh, Danny, acabo de escuchar a Danny. So nice to have you. Uh, Giovanni. Hi, teacher. Hey, Danny. Uh, I don't see Giovanni. Okay, so I hope he can come later. Dennis? Dennis tampoco, I don't see him. Okay, that's all right. Um, Jesus Ariel? All right. Um, and Jerixa, Noemi? Present. Nice, thank you so much. Ingrid Magali? Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And uh, Moises. Moses? Present. Nice. Thank you so much. Miriam Claribel? I am here, Miss. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Jackie? Present teacher. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Jackie. Anna Delmi? Present teacher. Thank you, Anna. Brenda? I'm sorry, Miss. Provecho. Enjoy your dinner. No worries. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Idania, Natalie. Aquí. 
present. Thank you so much. And Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So just let me confirm. Uh, Giovanni Gentro. Giovanni. Danis. Mm, I don't see Giovanni. I don't see Danis. And uh, uh, Jesus. Ariel Ainas, are you Jesus Ariel, right? Present, yeah. Hey there, welcome. Thank you so much for Thank you. having you here. Super cool. Gracias por unirse. Really nice to have you. Um, let me see, let me see. Solo le voy a pedir el enorme favor a Ariel que me ayude con su nombre completo, please. Si está en la computadora, en la parte de arribita de su camarita, le aparecen tres puntitos, que es el menú. Hay una opción que dice renombrar para que no se aparezca en el tracker que ya está por acá. Giovanni, nice to have you. Nice to see you as well. So ya veo que ya está con nosotros too. Ok, solo me falta like two people. All right. Ok, everybody. So thanks so much. Eh, gracias por la super puntualidad. Gracias por estar acá con el resto de nosotros, you know. Uh, today, vamos a en, avanzar un What's poquito con parte del contenido we got. So, vamos a practicar un poquito like simple present tense. Vamos a probablemente get more vocabulary and uh, we are going to practice speaking a lot. Allow me just a quick sec here. I'm going to share my screen. So, this is what we got for today. So, vamos a practicar un poquito de conversaciones, some vocabulary overview, and then we are going to have like a little warm up activity. So, to get it started, guys, um, okay. I got a question for you. Logran ver lo que está en la pantalla. Can you see what is on the screen? No, miss. <laughs> okay, ve la parte donde dice que es the place. Yes. 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 Sí, no, más? No. no, no, eso no. There are a lot. Ahí sí se ve. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Because for some reason, no debería de, no debería de verlo. You shouldn't be looking at it. Okay, so. <laughs> no, I mean, pero no es, no es nada mal. Solo it's just, uh, it's weird. Because no sé por qué aparece. Okay. Either way, let me go ahead. Let me share my screen. Y pretenden que no logran ver. Okay, so just pretend you cannot see that. Okay, so this is called guess. Okay. Guess the place, guess the, the object, etc. So my first thingy is the following. It says there are a lot of chairs and tables, there are waiters and waitresses. There is food and drinks. So the question is, what is the place? Guess the place. There are a lot of chairs and tables. Restaurant, miss. Yes, exactly. The restaurant. restaurant. Super easy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's go with the following. So gets the word. The first one says, the person gets the email. Okay. And the second one says, he delivers emails to the houses. What is the word? So, ¿cuál es la palabra? What is the word? Or, or the, the occupation or the job. So, the person gets the email and he delivers emails to the houses. What is this? Secretary. Secretary. Mm, close, but not really. Not really, but you, okay, but nice, nice try. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Bus receptionist. Receptionist, no, not really. But you are supervisor. The Can you repeat? Supervisor. Supervisor, no, not really. The boss. The boss, mm, no, it is not. Delivery courier. Again? Delivery courier, no sé cómo se dice como mensajero. Okay, yes, yes, exactly, that's the one. So the cutter or the mailman, so you can call it like the mailman, the postman. Yes, excellent, exactly, es el mensajero. 
uh, or la persona que entrega mensajería, right? So the person gets the email and he delivers emails to the houses. Like delivers, remember, como el delivery, right? Es entrega los emails. Okay, thank you. That was nice try, Moses. Let's go with the next. Guess the country. There are many expensive restaurants and companies. So, tienen que adivinar cuál es el país. Maybe there are more than one, but there are many expensive restaurants and companies. Number two, it is a beautiful and romantic country. Rene? Italian. In Paris. 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 Okay. Paris. Let's see the last. Let's see the last. The famous tower Paris. in the country. Paris. French. French means French. 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 So, yeah, that is French. ¿Cómo se llama esa torre? I know that La Italy is the French. Eiffel. 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 No sé cómo se dice. No sé cómo Eiffel se dice. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. Yes, Eiffel. exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, I mean, Italy can be a little similar, pero creo que este país, for some reason, todo el mundo dice que es bien romántico. Así que, yeah, that's France. Oh. Would you like to go? ¿Les gustaría ir a Francia? Would you like to go to France? No, oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I do. Yes. 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 Yes, right. Of course, yes. Okay, okay, cool. So let's move on. And this one is guess the job. Okay. It is a repetitive job. So repetitive. You do the same and the same and the same activity. Okay. It is a very dangerous job. So, ¿cuáles son algunos trabajos peligrosos? What are some dangerous jobs? You can oh, think um, police. police. Police officers, okay. Bomberos. A firefighter. Uh-huh, okay. Albañil. A mason, okay. Electricist, entonces. Electrician, okay. Electrician. Electrician is okay. ¿Qué más? What else? Accountant. Accountant. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dangerous <laughs> job. Maybe repetitive. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Wow. It could be. It could be. Como comprometedor. And the last one says That's people it. drive big cars. Trailero. Trailero, exactly. A truck driver. Imagine driver. all people que maneja desde Panamá hasta El Salvador like for two, three days doing the same. So that's super difficult. Repetitive and dangerous and everything. So thank you guys. That was super cool. That was all right. Now let's take a look at the following. Vamos a revisar some of the things or some of the activities que vamos a revisar ahora. It says here, talk about routines and everyday situations. Vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario sobre daily activities, sobre nuestra rutina diaria, ok? Y también actividades que hacemos dentro de la compañía. So vamos a unir todo, ok? First, um, to get started here, tenemos una pequeña conversation and this one is like Sonia and Matt, okay? So let me read it for you, okay? Well, actually not read it, so voy a leer sobre algunas palabras que pueden ser difíciles de pronunciar, okay? For example, we got this word that is uh, types, okay, the digital. So I type types, okay, so it's digital. We also got the word absolutely, okay, like absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Normally absolutely. decimos yes, but it's mejor si decimos like, she's a hardworking woman, absolutely. Yeah, like confirmando, so absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she arrive early? So this is arrive. I arrive. Okay. Llegar arrive. a un lugar. So the question here says, does she arrive early? Okay. Llega temprano? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Guys, llegan temprano a su trabajo. Do you arrive yes. early? Yes. 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 Are, are you the first person? Son la primera persona. Are you the first person at the office? I am not. 
You're nuts. No, 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 no. Pero el nene de los más puntuales en la empresa. O lo opuesto, are you the last person? Son la última persona, are you the last person to arrive? Yes. Ingrid, the last person. The last person. No, 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 no. The second person. The second person. Okay, so you are the second person to arrive. Okay. Okay, con lo first, que se refieren a los compañeros de mi, de, mi, de, mi, de mi área, sí. A veces soy segunda o tercera. Okay, <laughs> Primera, okay. segunda o tercera. Ok, nice, nice. That sounds super good. So, uh, let me have some volunteers, ok, to read it. So, we got Sonia and... Uh, let me see, let me see. Yes, Brenda? Yo quiero leer. Awesome. So, you can be Sonia. Eso. Okay. And Giovanni, you can be Matt. También. All right. Nice. Thank you, guys. Sounds super good. So, Giovanni, help me with Matt. And Brenda will help me with Sonia, please. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she tries papers and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Awesome, very nice pronunciation, guys. Yeah, we got it. Super, super good. Okay, let me let me go over the next person. So, um, Idania, please help me read Sonia, and Norberto, please help me read Matt. Um, I'm Sonia. Yes, yes, you can be Sonia. Yeah. Give me one. Okay. Just give me one, one second. Creo que alguien me dejó abierto el micrófono. Okay, okay, please go ahead. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. <clears throat> oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, see your point where she takes prepare and send email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person arrived in the office. Okay, thank you guys. That was very nice. Okay, very good um, reading skills and very good pronunciation. So let's go over question number one. What does Dominic do? Okay, so ¿Qué hace ella? what does she do? What does she do every day? Exactly, all right? Um, and if you pay attention here, um, cuando hablamos de las acciones que hacen, le hemos agregado una letra S, okay, to mention that this is third person singular. Uh, does she arrive early? Okay, so vamos a practicar, vamos a practicar especialmente estas preguntas, okay. What does Dominic do? What does she do every day? Exactly, all right, if necessary, pero con un pequeño cambio. So allow me one second and let me present my second screen. There we go. So what does, we are going to practice this question. What does your do? Okay. Or what does, okay, do? All right. So you can say the name of the person. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mixing Spanish. So yesterday, trabajaron con un compañero al final de la clase. I don't know if you remember. So, les pedí que tomaran un par de notas, you know, sobre las actividades que hacen. But if you don't remember, it's okay. There's no problem. Vamos a inventarnos un poco, okay? So, imagine, for example, que escogemos a un compañero, right? I can select, for example, oh my goodness, Sandra Rodas, okay? And I come and I say, hey, imagínense que Sandra es mi jefa, right? And I ask like, hey, 
teacher, what does your boss do? Okay, so que hace tu jefe, okay. Um, what does Sandra do? Fijan, es lo mismo, okay, but here I'm being very specific con el nombre de la persona and here con cualquier título. What does your boss do? What does your father do? What does your mother do? Etc. etc. So I come and I say, like, I know Sandra es una super buena jefa, you know, she's a very nice boss. Ella llega temprano todos los días. So, ¿cómo puedo decir esto? How can I say, ella llega temprano todos los días? Yeah. 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 Tenemos arrives, pero como es she, exactly, she arrives early every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, so she arrives early every day. Um, she, ella nos lleva pupusas. <laughs> ella nos lleva el desayuno, okay? So she, <laughs> eso pensé. ¿Cómo? No, no. Okay, so I can say, for example, oh, okay, so she is a very good boss and she takes breakfast for the whole team. Okay, so a todo el staff, a todo el grupo, les lleva desayuno. Nice, right? Super she cool. Takes mm -hmm. She takes breakfast for the whole team. Uh, ¿Qué más puede hacer, Sander? Quería para ser una buena jefa. What do you think? Da, bono, da, da un bono cada mes. Ah, very nice. She gives, okay, an extra bonus, okay, an extra bonus every month. Mm -hmm. Lo que veíamos ayer de la frecuencia, okay? So she gives an extra bonus every month, okay? Very nice. So, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más sería como un super excellent boss? Miss, um, que, nos de, que nos da libre el día de nuestro cumpleaños. Ah, ok. Uh, let me see, how can I mention that? En cierta literal. Um, she allows us, ok, la palabra allowed es permitir, ok. So, she allows us to live early, to have birthday birthday off okay. okay she allows us to have our birthday off okay so if you like pay attention here lleva todo un factor en común lleva todo algo eh, que comparten and it is letter s at the end of the verb so this is mandatory at the moment that we are talking and at the moment that we are writing. Danny, go ahead, Danny. Who's uh, teacher? Who's Okay, so he, she allows us, okay? La palabra es, es a nosotros, all right? Por ejemplo, um, yo le puedo poner acá, ella nos da a nosotros. She gives us, okay? So, el as, us, as, significa a nosotros. All right? Then, teacher. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. So, everybody, this is pretty much what we will be doing. Now, let's do something. What I want you to do is super, super easy. Um, I will give you, ooh, what happened? I will give you a couple of minutes. Okay. Allow me one second. Todos tomaron notas, first, todos tomaron notas ayer. Did you take notes yesterday? Y tienen las notas. Do you have your notes ready? Or not really? Not really. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Not really. Not really. Okay, okay. That's okay. But, but you know what? No problem. Because si no se recuerdan, invéntenselo. You're super fine with that. So you're good. I will give you um, like four minutes, kind of three, four minutes. And I want you to, right now, tomemos nota. Try to remember what your classmate said yesterday. Okay. Eh, remember que también en el chat le pueden preguntar al compañero de forma directa. You know, you can select a person and you can be like, 
Hey, please, recordame, ¿qué es lo que haces? Okay, what do you do every day? So we can do that. We can definitely do that. Tenemos tres, cuatro minutitos. Y luego vamos a ir a contarle a los compañeros lo que se recuerdan, ¿ok? So, three, four minutes, guys. Si necesitan ayuda con vocabulary, eh, let me know, please. Um, en el caso de Jesús, um, I think we didn't listen to anybody yesterday. No escuchamos a nadie. But we are okay with that. So, puede escoger en vez de, de a classmate, alguien con quien usted está familiarizado. It can be a family member. It can be your boss, your best friend, uh, your brother, your sister. So it's okay. Puedes seleccionar a un miembro de su familia and talk about a family member. So we can do that. Podemos hacer un pequeño cambio there. Hey Marvin, thank you for joining. Uh, so guys, ¿cómo les está yendo? How are you doing there? ¿Necesitan ayuda con any word? ¿Cómo estructurar algo? Estamos súper bien. Are you good? I guess that's a yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Anna, for the confirmation. That's super cool. Teacher, ¿cómo se, cómo se pronuncia hacer el corrido a uh, arrive, arrive early? Arrive early? Así, así se pronuncia. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uh, arrive early, early. Yeah, si es tercera persona le agrega una S, right? Pero entonces une el sonido. Ya no sería arrive early, sino arrives early. Como si lo uniera. Uh -huh. Put it together. Yeah, pero es si es tercera persona. Yes. Okay, one more minute, guys. One minute. Okay. 
teacher, ¿cómo se dice verificar? Um, there are different ways. You can say verify, you can say supervise, or you can say monitor. So Gracias. the three words, mm -hmm, the three words can be used. Okay, everybody, it is about time. Si no hemos terminado todavía, no se preocupen, it's okay. So we can go ahead and check, you know, si les faltan algunos. Deme solo un segundito que I believe algo pasó. Me hacen falta two. I'm missing two. Okay, I will check in a moment. So in the meantime, guys, vamos a ir a crear grupos. We are going to join some of these groups. I want you to talk, okay? I want you to talk to your classmates. Cuéntenles un poquito de lo que se recuerdan del día de ayer, okay? What your classmates told you. Y si no se recuerdan, no hay problema. Invéntense un pedazo, okay? I mean, that's okay. The point is always to practice English, okay? So, entre más, más detalles usted le ponga, even better. Si le pone detalles que el compañero no le dijo, it's okay, but just add details, all right? So, um, enjoy it. I will give you four to five minutes. Go talk. Si terminan y todavía tienen tiempo, invéntense más cosas, okay? Or talk about more people. That's okay. So, everybody, let's go. Five minutes. You got five minutes. Go, 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 go. Hey, Denise. Good evening. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey guys, eh, good evening. Creo que se me quedaron por acá. Um, es que a mí me está fallando el internet de ayer y cabal en el momento que me transfiere me pasa lo mismo. Sí, a veces eso pasa o la saca o algo así. Ajá. Uh, le acabo de mandar un link. Creería que pueda funcionar. O so, si gusta, eh, intente, try y si no, let me know. Así veo cómo le, le colaboro desde acá. in the morning she visit clients in the afternoon only companions only okay okay next but you would do hi my person is Jacqueline uh, what she does on Sunday, Jacqueline? Uh, she goes to the church on Sunday. I at 
9 a.m. and she visit your grandmother uh, after the church. And she get up at 7 a.m. to breakfast with with her family. And she shower uh, at 8 a.m. And that's it. Okay. Uh... Yo voy a hablar de, de ¿cómo se llama? Ella es nueva en Italia. Algo así creo que se llama. Eh, what does Italia do? She takes a shower in the morning. She writes a report. She checks email every day. She has a meeting. She... No, solamente... Okay. Ahí se acerca de mi mamá. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does mom do? She works clinical collaborator. She takes the temperature. She prepares patients. Nada más es Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. ¿cómo se dice? Ella organiza, es eh? chi. Do you say? Uh, sure. There are some ways. For example, you can say she organizes. Si es de algo, I don't know. You can use the word. Con reuniones. She organizes. Mm, so yo utilizaría otra que es she arranges meetings. De arrange, de organizar. Arrange. Mm -hmm. okay. De programar, so arrange. Okay. Solo tres, solo tres, mamá. Tres dije, ya vamos. Tres dije. Repetimos de nuevo. My classmate is Delmi. Delmi arrives early every day. She drives to work every day. She checks email. Se me olvidó ponerle, espérenme, le voy a poner. She make email todo el día, como es. Todo el día. Sí, all day along. All day along, todo el día, sí. All day along, es decir, en el transcurso del día. Delmi makes, Delmi makes reports every three days. Only that. <laughs> okay. Repetí la última, Brenda, por favor. Sí. Makes reports every three days. Creo que así es, cada tres días. Y makes lo puse con S porque estábamos hablando de ella, pero no sé si está bien porque es una acción, vea. O no es una acción. Pero ahí la S tenés que ponérsela a checks. checks. Mira. No, no. Sé si se, no sé si se pronuncia así, pero tenés que ponerle S al verbo, a email. Sí. Bueno, email sí, porque son correos también. Tell me, make, report. Es una. La otra, he checks. Ajá, ahí va, la S, ahí va la S, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia en sí. She checks email. Check. <ríe> All day alone. Y la otra, ajá, es cierto, debería de, porque es una acción de, o un verbo más bien. Vaya. Only that, guys. Ok, Brenda.
Hey guys, thank you for coming back. Gracias por regresar. Thank you for uh, being there. Oh my God, what is that? Uh, how was your practice? Todos practicaron, escucharon el compañero. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, nadie se me quedó sin practicar, right? O sin escuchar al compañero. So, okay, give me one second. Todos están regresando. Everybody's coming back. Okay, doki, cool. Oh my God, tenía 21. What happened? <laughs> so, ¿quién se me fue? I got 21. We were like complete and I was like, okay. Algo pasó. I don't know what happened there. Okay, guys, I'm sorry por los perritos que se oyen, creo. I think you must listen to them because they are super close. Um, so, we were practicing a little bit about this third person singular. So, repasamos un poquito este tema before we go into practice a little bit further. So, hay un par de reglas que considerar con terceras personas, right? Pero no nos vamos a detener mucho en las reglas, sino en usarlas, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si yo tengo la palabra arrive, de llegar, solo le agrego S, right? Yes. So, arrives, she arrives, he arrives. Si yo tengo play, if I have play, ¿qué le agrego? What do I add? Yes, right? Yes, yes. Please. Mm -hmm, that's it. If I have a study, ¿qué hago con study? What do I do? E -A. Se le agrega la ES. Yes. Yes. Tiene que quitarle la I. Y. Se le quita la I. Perfect. Yes. Hey. No necesito la Y. Mm -hmm. And this yes. becomes a study. Very good. I have this word that is watch, the ver, okay. So I watch, she watches. Uh, yes. Like watches. Okay. Watches. Watch. Mm -hmm. Very good. Watches, exactly. Yes. yes, excellent. I have go, the e, ella va. Goes. Goes, exactly. She goes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I have, for example, I have this word that is, oh, oh my God. I have this word that is fixed. Oh, what is wrong? Okay. I have this word that is fixed, de reparar algo, okay? I like the computer, I fix the computer, I, I fix the car, so fixed. ¿Qué le agrego? Fixes. Yes. 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 Okay, exactly. Yes. Now, I got this other word that is try. Yo intento. I try. Y si es ella, she? Try is. Yes. Yes. Or try. E. E. Elimina la. Yes. I. Ah, yes. Yes. I, yes. I, yes. Tries. Yes. Exactly. Tries. 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 Okay, acá me comí la S. Watches. Plays. Okay, vamos con otro ejemplo que se parece bastante. What about cry? De llorar. I yeah. cry. Similar. Similar? Cry, yes. Okay. Okay. The left Y. The left S. Mm -hmm. yes. Very similar, exactly. Tries, cries, studies. Okay. But what happens, for example, with this word? Pay. The orar. orar. I pray every day. So she, ¿qué le voy a quitar? ¿Qué le voy a poner? What do you think? Pray. No. No. Le quito la Y. Le quito la Y. Porque le empezó a Ese teacher. ¿Es No. Ok. Ese. So, solo ese. Solo, solo ese. ese. Ok, exacto. Solo Revis. ese. Revisamos un poquito entonces. ¿Por qué solo ese sí. y a los demás les quité? Porque antes Porque aquí. Exacto, exacto. Porque here, en el primer ejemplo con play. Antes de la Y hay una letra A, hay una vocal. So, cuando esto pasa, no le puedo quitar la Y, solo le agrego S, ¿ya? 
pre y pasó lo mismo. Hay una vocal antes de la Y. Pero esto no fue en el caso de try. Si se fijan, ¿qué hay antes de la Y? La R. Here. Consonant. Consonant. Antes de la Y, otra vez hay una R. So no, no, no puedo hacer el cambio, ¿ok? So acá lo voy a hacer nuevamente. I'm going to make the change here. So this is like super easy. No es nada complicado, pero es de recordarse agregárselo, ¿ok? Now, guys, now that we have this, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We will do the following. Vamos a regresar a los mismos grupos donde estaban. Pero, 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 necesito que se pongan de acuerdo. I need you to agree on this. Vamos a trabajar un poquito la parte de comunicación. Pueden ponerse de acuerdo en el chat, pueden ponerse de acuerdo o alguien les coge por el grupo, whatever you decide. So, it says here, um, make a list, select one of the following. Van a escoger una categoría, ok? You are going to select one category of the ones that you have here. Y van a hacer una lista de qué es lo que él o ella debe tener para cumplir, <coughs> perdón, esta categoría. Por ejemplo, The perfect pattern. ¿Qué debe tener él o ella o like any person to be the perfect pattern? Por ejemplo, he, um, I don't know. What can you tell me? Los que ya son padres de familia, so you may have a better idea. Okay. Puede ser, por ejemplo. Okay. So she, digamos que escojan un she o un he. Pueden escoger solo uno de los dos. She is responsible. Okay, responsible. She works very hard. Entonces, utilizando he or she, vamos a hacer una listita de las características of that person. For example, number two says the perfect employee. ¿Qué debe de hacer para, para convertirse en el empleado perfecto? The perfect employee. Then the perfect boss. ¿Qué es lo que debe de hacer? Ok. O darles o no. I don't know. To be the perfect boss. The next one says the perfect citizen. Hablando de, de you know, responsabilidades sociales. Responsabilidades como el sufragio and things like those. So, ¿cuáles son algunos de los elementos que debe de considerar para ser el um, a citizen? Es como un ciudadano. Ok. El ciudadano perfecto que no bote basura, que respete a las personas. I don't know, everything like that. Y la última dice, the best child, son or daughter. So, ¿cuáles son las características que usted dice? Wow, my, my, my son is perfect, or my daughter is just perfect. Like, she does the homework, she watches TV, but not too much. She talks to a lot of boys and girls. He is very friendly. So, all of these things, vamos a hacer una listita, right? So, necesito que se pongan de acuerdo. You got a minute. And uh, si se recuerdan con quién estaban. So, guys, utilicen cualquier medio para ponerse de acuerdo right now. Tienen un minuto para decirme cuál van a escoger. Uh, please, y me escriben. Let me see, ya les digo quiénes están en la sala para que se recuerden. Ariel, Giovanni y Ama están conmigo. Yes. Give me one second. Brenda, porque yo, Brenda. Ok, so, sala número uno. Necesito que se pongan de acuerdo de cualquier forma. Ok, but you tell me. So, Ana, Brian, Giovanni, and Jesus. Sala dos, Jacqueline, Jocelyn, Moisés. Sala tres, Dani, José, Norberto, Marvin, and Sandra. Sala cuatro, Dani, Daisy, Sandra, exactly, ustedes cogen un representante o se ponen de acuerdo sí. through chat privado o algo así. Eh, sala 5, Brenda, Ingrid, Miriam, and René. Chicos, tienen 30 segunditos para decirme cuál de ellos, which of them. No se pueden repetir, así que me, me escriben en el chat cuando ya lo tengan. Vamos a agarrar nosotros, perfecto. Ah, ok, denme un segundo. Well, Brian dice perfect citizen. Okay. Uh, Norberto dice perfect boss. Dice the perfect employee. Okay. So Brenda says the perfect employee. Okay. Chicos, Nosotros solo queda listo. Perfect boss. Solo, solo hay dos disponibles. Perfect parent or perfect Thanks. child. Solo dos hay. Uh, 
a bad child. Nosotros sí. Best child. Yes. Ok, best child. Chicos, ¿quién me faltó que escogiera? Creo que mi grupo. Ok, Dani, eh, y Dani y Norberto pertenecen al mismo grupo. Ahorita decide nuevo, por favor. Tienen que ponerse de acuerdo. You have to get in agreement, guys. The preferred employee is the nosotros. Vale, ok. Let me see. So, no, bravo, la verdad, es el que usted dijo de best child, ¿verdad? Vaya, ahorita le digo. So, so yes. la uno, Brian era el cuerpo. Okay. Perfect boss, ¿verdad, Brian? No, no. Eh, Sidesen. Ok, so perfect sí. So la dos, Jacqueline, Jocelyn y Moisés, ¿cuál es el de ustedes? El de ustedes no lo tengo. The best child. Oh, yeah, you mentioned. Ok, ok. Dani, Norberto, Marvin y Sandra, get in agreement, please. The perfect boss, teacher. The perfect boss, ok. Creo que me lo había dicho, right? Uh, yes. Dani, Daisy y Sandra. The perfect boss. But you cannot repeat. Tendría que ser cualquier otra. Any other. So the then perfect the... parents. Okay, perfect parent. We are good. Parent. And the last one, eh, Brenda, Ingrid, Miriam, and René. El suyo era? The perfect employee. employee. Okay, perfect. Estamos super bien. So guys, tenemos like from five to ten minutes. Hagamos una listita porque vamos a presentarlas. So cuando ya tengan su lista, practiquen con el compañero porque voy a escoger una persona del grupo que los represente. Okay, and I'm pretty sure que van a hacer un excelente trabajo. Así que si les cuesta un poquito, you know, tomes el tiempo de decirle al compañero, ok, escúchame y me corregís, right? So correct each other. Voy a estar por ahí si necesitan ayuda. So nos vamos ahorita. Let's go, everybody. Yarixa. Hello, Yarixa. Hola. Hola, Miss. Gracias por regresar. Thank you for coming back. ¿En qué grupo estaba? Really? No me, sí, apare no me aparece, you know. Deme un segundito. ¿Con qué grupo estaba Yarixa? Dani, Sandra. Dani, Sandra. Marvin y Norberto. No. Dani. Dani, Daisy y Sandra. Ok. Están las cuatro. Bye. Ahorita le comparto el link para que pueda apoyar a los chicos. Sorry, por alguna Gracias. razón no me aparecía. Ok. okay. But thank you so much for coming. Llega tarde para que no te esté ahí fregando. Por si llegan tarde, ustedes también no les dicen nada, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y el regulator of the office. ¿Cuál otro? Hoy digan uno ustedes. Los deja salir temprano. Ah. El. el he, Hace rato escribimos permite. ¿Cómo se, ¿Cómo se dice permite? Ahí no tienen el traductor a la mano. Yo no lo tengo a la mano. Ahorita. Si conecto. Marvin. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Permite, ¿verdad? Esperame. Ajá. Ajá. El permite. Acaban dice, de llegar it, y a los de ya se van. It allows, dice. ¿Cómo? La letra I, T, así ve. Se ve. It, ah, it alone, alone. 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 Él permite, Se ahí podemos ir ocupar. Ir Allows. Ahí. Ahí es donde usa a nosotros. ¿no? Él permite a nosotros. Ir al oh. Ya, yeah. como sería un él o ella, en vez de it, podemos cambiarlo para he or she. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Pueden escoger qué tipo. Uh -huh. O simplemente ponen la palabra a vos. A vos allows. Uh -huh. Para hacerlo más allows. general, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero como estamos hablando del jefe o jefa. Uh -huh. pues sí, allows. Sí, en, en vez de, para no ponerle género, por ejemplo, puede decir solo a vos allows. O puede ser he allows o she allows. Uh -huh. Ella para general, generalizar. No. Exacto. A vos allows. Uh -huh. Norbert. No. Va, wow, otra, otra, otra. Trabaja en equipo. Ah. Sí. Work. Work. O work. Ahorita. Y en think. Think. Team. Uh, uh, it works. It works. As a team. As. As. Como as. A S. A S. O. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Team o time. Team. Team, así como dice. Ajá. Dani. No, pero as. 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 A thing. As. 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 A. S. ¿Cómo sería, Es. A. A. S. As. As. A. S. Yeah. Porque si no puede ser otra cosa. So, as. As. No, 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 que vibre, la, la S vibra. As. 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 It works as a team. As, as a, a team. As a team. Yeah. Oh, but that's good. That's a very nice characteristic. I like it. That sounds very good. Thank you. So it sounds like a perfect boss. Sandra, a otra. Está bien. Está bien, está bien ese ejemplo. O lo cambiamos. Está bien. Porque el mejor niño no va a ser uno sucio, ¿verdad? Todo cochino, no se bañe. No aplica. Eh, ordenado. How, how, ordenado, ¿ha? Huh? How do you say ordenado? He's very organized. Ordenado es como tío. Organized. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ordenado, eh, tiri, tiri. What do you say, ¿Cómo? tiri? Tiri o tiri? Uh, yeah, you can say, organize it's okay. So organize is fine. You can say that the, the best child is organized and it's okay. Or you can use the word clean and it's okay. Or you can use the word tidy. So the limpito, the ordenadito, uh -huh, so tidy. Y quizá por ser niño tendría que ser como happy, contento, feliz. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Or extroverted. So you can use also extroverted. He's very happy. Happy. Very uh, yeah. Happy and extroverted. Ajá, uh -huh, so extroverted. So pensemos como en qué más, qué más actividades hacen los, los niños. Like, they go to a school. He likes to dance. He likes to dance. Ajá. Uh -huh. He goes to school. Hace las planas. He does the, the homework assignment. No pelea. He doesn't fight. No pelea. Ajá, uh -huh, los niños son <laughs> very terrible, you know. So, yeah, so he doesn't fight or she doesn't fight. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
Creo. He takes part in the presidential election. He takes part in ah, the sí, presidential election. Forma parte en la elección presidencial. Takes part. Practiquémoslo. Solo, solo creo que. Ah, sí, no sé. Presidential election. También he put the garbage in its place. Tira la basura en su lugar. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? He puts the garbage in its place. ¿Cómo? He put ¿Y qué? P -U -T -S. He put He put He put The garbage Con el bota The garbage, Ajá. The garbage Garbage In its place No podríamos usar uh, Throws Coach Podemos usar Throws también, también se podría Es que me, me voy a trabar En decir puts He puts, uh -huh. ¿Cómo se escribe puts? He P U T S. P U T S. ¿Cómo se escribe basura? Trash, ¿verdad? Trash. Trash. Garbage. Y... y para poner como el que recicla, podemos decir. Sí. ¿Cómo se dice recicla? Recicla. Yeah, you can say recycle. So he recycled garbage. Ah, recycle. He recycled yes. plastic. Mm -hmm. So recycle. Recycle. Si quieres practiquémonos. Las primeras, si no. Bueno, yo les puse acá como el empleado que ayuda al jefe todo el día. Helps, he helps the boss all day. He helps the boss all day. Uh -huh. He helps. helps, helps de ayudar, helps, helps. H -E L. Bueno, ya se lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat, permítanme. Helps. Sí, helps. Aquí voy, aquí voy, ahorita se lo escribo. Helps. Ahí está, compañeros. He helps the boss all day. El que ha ido el jefe todo el día. ¿Quién quema a sus compañeros? ¿Cómo, cómo fue? No, mentira. Ajá, cómo. Bueno, veamos. El yoyo -yo con el jefe. El yoyo, -yo, ah, el yoyo. -yo, el yo -yo. el que ¿Verdad que siempre hay alguien? Siempre. Toda la vida. ¿Verdad que siempre hay uno? Toda la vida, cabal. De ¿Quién nos estamos acordando cada uno de nosotras ahorita? Ajá, cabal. <risa> Tenemos quién. <risa> no, mentira, de mi trabajo no hay nadie. Quiero ver quién tiene cara de yo yo aquí. <risa> no, 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 no. Ey, qué mala. Qué mala. Quiero ver. Ay, en mi trabajo tampoco no hay nadie. Así. Gracias a Dios. Yo nomás le llevo el cafecito y pan en la mañana. Eso, Ay, no, no. Ya cayó, Mentira. ya cayó. Eso está mal, ¿sabes o no? Mentira, es una broma. La manzanita no le llevo. La manzanita. No le... A ver, qué ver. Vaya, no sé qué más ponemos, veamos. Tenemos cuatro apenas. Entrega los reportes a tiempo. 
Oh. Ah, eso está bueno. Okay. Veamos, entrega. Ya que están diciendo. For us the... For us the perfect parents should be, yes. es como para nosotros, los padres perfectos deberían ser. Ok. To be responsible, responsible. Person. Hey guys, uh, how are you doing? I'm friendly. Uh, so, veo que how? tienen muchos adjetivos. I see you have a lot of adjectives. Uh, podemos ponerle de una sola vez en oración, right? Para que podamos tener más vocabulary. Uh, so, for example, you have the perfect pattern is, de una sola vez hagamos la oración, you know, to make it into uh, responsible. Is responsible, comprehensive, friendly, affectionate, mm -hmm. uh, is a good advisor, it's exemplary, and it's righteous. Pongamos como algunas cosas también que like perfect or good parents do. So, por ejemplo, ellos, they love the person, they said. Uh, o ellos trabajan muy duro. They work really hard. You know, oh, okay. they uh, sacrifice. Yeah, so he sacrifices or she sacrifices a lot. Ya, yeah. so la idea es que también utilizamos terceras personas, así que podemos hacerlo en el sentido de she or he, ok. Um, y algunas actividades que ellos hacen, right? Uh, tenemos like como tres minutitos para terminar, así que, you know, let, let, I will let you work on it. And uh, intentamos agregar como, no only adjectives, sino también como actividades que ellos hacen, like, what do your parents do? O si ustedes son padres, like, Querían por sus hijos, right? What, what would you do in that case? Mm -hmm. so I let okay. You Thank you. No quiero agregar más. No, yo, no, hoy siendo malo, malo, malo. Bueno, entonces la otra sería my boss, our opinion into account. Dijimos eso. My boss. ¿Cuál era la otra, Norberto? Uh, Para decir es buena onda. Así como dicen ahora. Buena onda. School, school. My boss is school. Teacher se nos perdió Dani, lo sacó usted de la de la de la reunión esta. No, 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 pero yo creo que está teniendo problemas de internet porque no lo veo conectado. Probablemente se le haya caído. Pero si regreso se los envío. Bye. Para decir que es introvertido, teacher. Uh, you can say introverted. So you can use the word intro, introverted, or simplemente timid, or you can use the word shy. Introverted. Mm -hmm. Introverted or shy, yes. Guys, it's about time. It's about time. So let's go back. Give me one second.
Hello guys, thanks so much for coming back. So thank you, thank you. Lograron terminar, were you able to finish? Todos terminaron? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, 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 cool. That sounds very nice. Demole un par de minutitos, well, the segundos actually, to the rest of the guys who are finishing. That would be 10 segundos, so give them like 10 seconds. So in the meantime, um, I think it would be better si lo hacemos como al azar, right? So from each of the, of the groups, we can select one representative, I see a random, to tell us a little bit, a little bit about that person. Um, of course, pueden leerlo, pueden revisar sus notas, pero si alguien se anima a hacerlo solo, you know, sin leerlo, sería perfecto. That would be wonderful. So there's no problem. Eh, para que también nos vayamos quitando un poquito el miedo y, y evitemos ir like always reading, right? That would be super, super fine. So, um, déjenme ver, creo que Dani no regresó. So, Dani and Dania, they are not back. Okay, uh, I'm going to get started. Hello. Please. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Que los del grupo le digo yo que me fuimos a la papa caliente para ver a qué me toca. Potato hot. would be nice, pero es que no tenemos. We don't have it. <laughs> it would be super difficult to. Ya no puedo ni poner música. Por sesión, por derechos de autor, you know. So, but anyways, let's do it. Let's do it at random. Uh, Dennis, I will let you choose. Del 1 al 5, diga mi número, please. Tell me a number. Hi. Five. Okay, so group number five is Brenda, Ingrid, Miriam, and Renee. Oh, yeah, you can do it, Brenda. You can do it, Brenda. You can do it, Brenda. So you are the ones. Okay. Um, now, Dennis, from one to four, give me a number. Ow. Rivas Aguila. Like what? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Rivas Aguila is, oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, ya me dio el, el nombre. So. <laughs> That's okay. So, Ingrid, you are the chosen one. Okay. Thank you so much. So, Ingrid, they selected you. I know we can do it. So, ¿cuál era la de ustedes, chicos? What is yours? The perfect employer. Ah, the employee. Okay, creo que todos nos vamos a ser identificados. Brian, Brian is the perfect Brian, employee. So, si alguien se considera como un buen empleado. Sí, dice okay. que algo que, que tiene René, que es bien, es bien puntual. Eso sí lo admiro. Ah, ok, ok, nice. Ah, perfecto. Sí, René. Control. Pero no sé por qué se está riendo. So, I think that no, it's no, not true. Sí, sí. Porque es mentira, porque es mentira. So we are going to listen to this. Escuchamos la descripción. Let's listen to it. Y si hay algo que ustedes le quieran agregar, that you say, no, ahí le falta esto que me identifica, you know, that I'm the best employee in the world. So let's do it and let's add it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Ingrid, le escuchamos. We'll listen to you. Eso nos faltó, compañeras. Ese es el puntual. Bueno, eh, empiezo. Son aquí. He's, uh, he arrived uh, early every day and let and let's to go. He is not in the. Este no sé cómo se pronunciaba, teacher. Uh, disabled. Se estaba preguntando cómo se oía, cómo se pronunciaba eso. Can you say the word one more time? He's not disabled. disabled. ¿Cuál era la idea? Dígame la idea. Probably I didn't get it. Eh, lo que no es. Um, que no pide permiso, mis, el que no pide permiso. No, el que no se incapacita. El que no se incapacita o que no se incapacita o que no pide permiso, tantos permisos en el trabajo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Eh, el que no se incapacita. Ok. So, ah, entonces, sí, sí, sí. So, sí, permítame sí. un segundito, pero voy a bajar volumen a eso. Okay, thank you so much. So 
in the meantime, while... sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no worries, no worries. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye. So, mientras Bye. regreso nuevamente, se los comparto acá, la de disable. ¿Por qué no podemos utilizar la palabra disable? disable? Porque disable es como eh, que no es, tiene la competencia y you uno know, que no puede. Entonces, lo que, si lo que quieren decir es como no pide. Um, no se share, incapacita. No decimos. se incapacita, pero en el sentido de no se enferma, no va al doctor y no le da ajá, un documento. Ajá. Entonces, exacto, podemos exacto. utilizar esa. He doesn't ask he for doctor's leave. Esa es incapacidad. Dígame, Brenda. Es que nos había salido otra, o habíamos puesto otra que decía, he doesn't ask for permi permission at uh -huh. work. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Eso sounds una, super good. Eso, como eso también está bien, Miss. That sounds good. Yeah, he doesn't ask for permission at work. Y esa doctor's leave es la palabra incapacidad. So whenever you say, tengo incapacidad, uh, I have a doctor's leave. Mm -hmm. So it's doctor, bien específica. Doctor's leave. Doctor's leave. Esa es incapacidad. Okay. Yes. okay, I'm sorry. Continue, Entonces, please. Empiezo nuevamente. Bye. Voy a empezar nuevamente. He arrived early every day on the lot to go. He is not a the doctor's leave. He is a doctor's leave. He does not ask for permission on the, at the work. He's helped the boss I all day, all day, perdón. Uh, the delivery rep, uh, report on the time. Uh, the always uh, as good presentation. I like it. Nice. That sounds like a very good list. Like a personal presentation is super good. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, yeah, definitivamente escribieron a Brian, I think. No, that's super cool. ¿Qué más hizo falta, guys? What else is missing there? So, ¿Sienten que se identifican with these characteristics? Or not really? Mm. Yes. More yes. Than yes, yes, guys. Of course. Oh, yes. Of, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, yes. so we are the, the best yes. employees in the world. Okay, thank you so much, Ingrid. That was super good. Very nice reading skills, very nice pronunciation. Quizás solamente esta palabrita la podríamos mejorar. That is the word arrive. De lo contrario, very cool. So this arrive. is arrive, exactly. Arrive. Lo demás, arrive. Super, super bien. Yes, that's okay. the only word, but very nice job. Okay, now Ingrid, del uno al cuatro, from one to four, give me a number, please. Um, three. Three. Okay. Three. And tell me from one to three. Diga mi número. Um, two. Two. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. Marvin. Norberto, Marvin, and Sandra's group. Marvin, you are the chosen one. Hey, Marvin, there you go. What is yours? What is your category, Marvin? El del buen jefe. Hi, very nice. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you check some jefes? Who are bosses here? Brenda. Brian. Creo que Sandra. I think Sandra is a manager. Brian. ¿Quién más no, es jefe? No. Oh, tiene like two or three subordinates. Sandra, Brian, Bra and Brenda. Anybody else? Moses? Moses? Yes, right? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, Moses is a boss yes. as well. Is Sandra Elizabeth? Janis? Yes. Jesus? Tiene personal a cargo? Are you in charge of personnel? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Danis yes, is a boss. Yes. Jesus is a boss as well. So Elizabeth, what about you? Tiene personal a cargo? No. No, you don't. Okay, okay. So guys, this is for you how to be the perfect boss. Let's listen to this description. Y si hay algo que ustedes digan, le hace falta eso, please let us know and we can include it. So guys, let's go, let's go. Uh, Marvin, we listen to you. Bye. Como es, es una abstracción, ¿verdad? Es una utopía, ¿verdad? Uh, my perfect boss uh, will, will be so. He's a good person to his employer take our opinion into account if we need to leave give us a permis permission work as a thing at our um, value of our work mm -hmm. 
That's it. Finish, finish. One more. Yeah, I don't know. Martin, is that it? Is See, that it? Finish, finish. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You said in, in, a, in an unreal world. Why? So he said, uh, a perfect boss gives us permission, right? Cuando ustedes se quieren ir, he's like, okay, go, go home. No, no worries. Go, go. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what else? Oh, he works as a team. Okay, I think it's important. So he's a team player. Okay. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más, Marvin? Valor el trabajo en equipo. Oh, he Buen values. Trabajo. Okay, he values Ajá. teamwork. Mm -hmm. He values teamwork. <laughs> exactly like Brian. No, I'm just kidding. So he values teamwork. ¿Qué más? Give, what else? Give, give bonus. Oh, gives bonuses. No, but bonus. that, that would be too much. <laughs> <laughs> so a perfect boss gives bonuses. Okay. Guys, ¿qué hacen ustedes para ser buenos jefes? What do you do? So tengo varios acá que tienen personal a cargo, right? So tell us. ¿Qué hacen? What do you Brian, do? Brian, Brian cuida los intereses de la empresa. No, pero para ser un buen jefe, like, like, you know, that you're Pero tus that... descuentos también, y los de René. Okay, okay. So you check. Okay, you double check um, discounts and everything. Guys, ¿qué más? I think respect is very important. Es muy bien accesible con los permisos que la gente me pide. Okay. A veces que los veo bien cansados y me dicen, ¿me puedo ir antes? Y si yo veo que es una persona que si me responde, le digo, vaya, andate. Okay. Oh, okay. So usted se sí cumple la parte de... Okay. You allow them to leave early. Oh, nice. Okay. To have early outs. Okay. También cuando tienen algún, alguna cita, teacher, o, o algo que hacer, uh -huh. y uno este también les puede ayudar en cuanto a alguna consulta o algo que tengan que hacer. Medical appointment, bueno, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So a good boss, a boss allows employees, allows employees have early out. La palabra early out es como salir temprano, right? To have early out. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What else? A good boss celebrates birthdays. <laughs> so, what else? Moses, ¿qué hace? What do you do to become a good boss? I value you work. Okay, okay. That's all right. ¿Qué más era jefe? Danis, what do you do to become um... a good boss? Es como compartir el conocimiento. Okay, that's a very cool oh, one. Yes. Now in English. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the share it? Yes, exactly. So you share knowledge. You mm -hmm. share. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, you share knowledge. That's very knowledge. important. Yeah, okay. knowledge, the conocimiento. Knowledge. Yes. Jesus, what Thank else? Thank you. Welcome. Ayudar en lo que se puede. Okay, so guys, ayudar, can you help me please? Ayudar en lo que se puede, he mentioned. So a good boss helps um, anyhow. So de alguna forma, okay? So a good boss helps anyhow. Thank you guys, I really like it. Very nice insight from you. Now I'm missing some groups. Vamos a tener el último, significa que dos se me van a salvar por el momento. So, okay. Um, Marvin, please. I got one, I got two, and I got four. ¿Quién es el siguiente? One, two, or four. Ay, Marvin se fue. He's gone. Okay. Yeah, meanwhile, mientras regresa, Jackie, let's go with you. One, two, or four? Four. Four, okay. Um, y es el Listen. suyo, you know? <laughs> Now, okay, from one to four? So, digamos que four, four. So, uh, my number four is Danis, Daisy, Sandra, and Jarixa. Y el número cuatro yes. del grupo is Jarixa. So, hey, Miss, thank you so much for that. Are you here? Are you with us? 
look chorizo. Hola. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. So, ¿cuál era el de ustedes, chicos? Which is yours? The perfect parents. Oh, that's a difficult one. Okay, perfect parents. How to be perfect mom and perfect dad. Okay, so we yes. listen to you, Yeritza. Um, tenemos que decir los adjetivos que decimos de los papás, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, o cómo es un papá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué hacen? What do they do? The perfect parent is a responsible, comprehensive, así se dice. Comprehensive. The comprehensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comprehensive. Friendly. They love person. Uh, good advisor. Quiero um, ver. Afectivo, ¿cómo se dice? Affectionate. Affectionate. Uh, and yes. only. Okay, okay, thank you. Guys, ¿qué más hace un padre? What, what, do you, what do a parent do? Um, I guess I got some of you que tienen babies, right? So, what do you think? What are some activities that a parent does? Keep time the sun. Okay, that's very important. He or she spends time, exactly. So, spends time with her son, with her Hello. baby. Very nice. Thank you. ¿Qué más, chicos? What else? Miss, how do you say? Oh. Cuida de ellos. Yeah. So, she or he takes care. Uh-huh. Takes care of the family. Takes care of the baby. Very good. ¿Qué más? Eh, sorry, Miss, Miriam, tell me. Uh, how do you say el padre que da buenos consejos? Gives. Gives. He or she gives good advice. 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 Mm -hmm. So he or she gives good advice. Very nice. Okay. okay. Anything else? Algo más? Example. He helps with, with his children homework. Okay, exactly. So he helps with the homework. Very good. I like it. Very well structured. Muy bien organizada la ciudad. Super good. Jackie, what <laughs> else? Tell us. ¿Qué hace con su baby? What, what activities do you do with your baby? Like uh, dancing. Okay, so you spend time together, you dance together, okay, or you do activities together, right? That's super cool. Guys, alguien más tiene babies que nos pueda dar like some input, some ideas? He teaches a good. Um, he teaches? He teaches, he teaches uh, Rene? A good habit. Good habits. Okay, very good. I like it. So he teaches good habits. Okay, or he teaches values. Excellent. Okay, okay, good. Um, yes, Dani? My daughter? Yes. Um, it's como running, running. Like running, like with your daughter, uh, like do yes. exercise together. Yes. Okay, so he or she teaches. I... Podría entrar dentro de good habits. Oh, I'm sorry. La palabra advice no la escribí correctamente. My apologies for that. Esa es la palabra advice de consejo advice. o recomendación. Oh, okay. eh, when you say running, probablemente es como enseña. Uh, hacer deporte, I would um, say. Mm -hmm. So yes, maybe yes. do a sports together. So she yes. does a sports together with her babies. En el caso que sea un she, right? Okay, guys, I like it. Super, super cool. Algo más que me haga falta con esto. Teaches values. Mm -hmm. En la palabra teaches de enseñar, we can include teaches values, teaches... Um, I don't know, maybe religion teaches respect. 
That is very important as well, right? Thank yes. you guys. Very cool input. <coughs> nice. It was really nice listening to you. Now, vamos a continuar. We are going to continue here. And we got, we have one more activity. Allow me one second. Let's voy a compartir mi pantalla here. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. La lista de compra, no, 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 no. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, sorry about that. So it says here, complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. ¿Qué significa correct form? Que si usted tiene he or she, me tiene que cambiar el verbo obligatoriamente, okay? So, tenemos, what, maximum four minutes. Está bastante fácil, no creo que se tome mucho tiempo. Here, dice eh, three times, significa que van a utilizar go tres veces. Remember, pueden ser positivas, negativas, tercera persona, primera persona, varias personas, etc. So enjoy it. Tenemos cuatro o cinco minutitos para terminarlo. And please, cuando terminen, me escriben Don in the chat o activan el micrófono y me dicen Don, all right? Para saber que ya estamos listos y podemos empezar a revisar. So, cinco minutitos, you guys. Five minutes. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Daisy, for the confirmation. Chicos, me avisan if you are ready as well.
thank you guys. Thank you for the confirmation. So I see most of you already finished. So in the meantime, uh, Ayuda and Metlis help me and check the answers together. So uh, the first one, it says from Monday to Friday, Dominic at 5 a.m. What do you have in number one? ¿Qué podemos usar en la primera? From Monday to Friday, Dominic. Uh, wakes wake wake up. up. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. Exactly. Super good. So from Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up. Yeah. So number one is wakes up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one says she to work. Go. Go. She goes to work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the second one is she goes. Mm -hmm. She goes to work. Le agregamos es porque es tercera persona. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she checks, checks. checks her email. Very good. So number checks. three is checks. Exactly. Checks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one. Yeah. She oh, checks calls. her email oh, and calls, calls her calls. clients. Very good. And calls her clients. Mm -hmm. Next one says, in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work, work, work. or works. Work. Work. work, work, only work. Exactly. Only work. Solo work, only work. work. ¿Por qué no le digo la S? Why not S? Porque dice ellas. Dice que Lisa y Claudia son dos Two personas. Person. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very yes. good. Now they, they go. have, they go to have, have to go. Um, they go to have to or go. they have to, to go. go? They have to go lunch together. This is very interesting. This is very they interesting. They go to have. Okay, quiero decir, they I want to say have. que ellos <laughs> van a almorzar. Okay. No necesariamente que to tienen have. que ir a comer, sino que ellos van they a comer. They go to have. They, they go to have. So they go to have. They go to have. Mm -hmm. That is the answer. Go to have lunch together. So, ¿por qué va junto el have? Because la palabra lunch debe de ir junto a have. Okay. So, they go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. La última, Dominic. Go. Dominic goes home. Very oh. good. So Dominic goes home. Excellent. And that's it. Super good job. Oh, pero no es mucho. It's not like a lot. So super good job with go that person. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. No worries. So vamos a revisar un poquito un tema más eh, que está bastante fácil. It's super easy. Y es precisamente lo que comenzamos ayer de las frecuencias, ¿ok? So, ayer veíamos once, veíamos twice, ok, once a week, etc. Revisamos un par de temas ahora también that are going to be super helpful. Parte de la frecuencia are the following. Time expressions for regular activities. Tenemos, por ejemplo, actividades que hacemos every day, every week, every month, or every year, ok. Hay actividades que las hacemos daily. ¿Qué significa daily? Every day, ok. I can say, I, get, I take a shower daily. I take a shower every day. I brush my teeth daily. I brush my teeth every day. I go to work daily. I go to work every day. So, eso son lo mismo. Okay, they are the same. Week, every week. ¿Cuál es la otra forma de decirlo? Weekly, okay. So, I send reports weekly. I send reports every week. Envío los reportes al mes. I send reports monthly or I send reports every month, all right? So, this is como frecuencia. We are going to be working a little bit with frequency today. Tenemos, por supuesto, year, every year. Pero si no, le podemos agregar la L y la Y y decimos yearly para hablar de anuales, okay? Tengo planes anuales. Tengo que hacer planeación anual. I make my yearly report. So, si ustedes ven daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, 
no se preocupen porque es lo mismo, ok? It's the same, pero en otra forma, in a different way. Now, yo quiero preguntar de frecuencia. I want to ask, ¿qué tan frecuente ustedes hacen algunas actividades, all right? And for this, vamos a utilizar la pregunta que veíamos el día de ayer. How often, ok? How often, or how often do you? Y eso es todo. Super easy, ok? So imagine, for example, my question is, how often do you have breakfast at the office? So how often do you have breakfast at the office, guys? Like every day, every week, every month, daily? Every other day, on daily. Monday, daily. So you have breakfast daily at the office. Okay, in algunos lugares. Y es... para teacher. Yes. Y para decir este que es poca con poca frecuencia. Y ya podemos utilizar otras palabras que las vamos a ver in a couple of seconds. So, vamos a ver like some words que nos pueden ayudar mucho para hablar de frecuencias. No quiero meterme mucho en este tema porque lo vamos a seguir practicando later, pero para, darle, para darles como un adelanto, right? Vamos a utilizar the following. Vamos a estar utilizando estas. Creo que algunas de ustedes, bueno, algunos de estos ustedes ya lo saben. Por ejemplo, how often do you have breakfast at the office? Yo puedo solo decir always. Ya, yeah. siempre, sí. always. Mm -hmm. I can use the word sometimes. Algunas veces, ok. Sometimes. I can use the word rarely. Rara vez. So rara tell vez. me, this is the word. Rarely. Yeah, I can use hardly ever. Yeah, so hardly ever, it's like, ay, casi nunca, ok. Hardly ever. And I can use the word never. Never. So, por el momento no vamos a usar oraciones completas, sino vamos a ir directo al, al, a, la, a la respuesta. So, how often do you have breakfast at the office? Always, sometimes, rarely, hardly ever. Estos son adicionales a every day, every week, okay, every month, etc., etc. So, are you following me, guys? Estamos bien acá. Are we okay? Questions, questions. ¿Qué quería Vamos. decir? Hardly ever, ever. Hardly, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Casi so, nunca. Casi nunca. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. And never, casi nunca, right? So, how often do you drink coffee at work? So, how often do you drink coffee, for example? Always. Always? Never, 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 sometimes, okay, imagine that I have, for example, how often do you get sick at work, how often do you get sick, que tan a menudo se enferman en el trabajo, how often do you get sick at work, that you have a how headache, never. stomach never. ache, diarrhea, how never, never, Really? Nunca se han enfermado en el trabajo? Like never ever? No. Hardly no. ever. Hardly ever? Okay. Hardly ever. Three days ago. So three days Hace ago. Días. Pero como Estoy la frecuencia, capacitado. pero la frecuencia acá es como, ¿qué tan a menudo? I mean, like how often? Casi siempre o solamente mm -hmm. es así como bien raro. So rarely, okay. I rarely once get sick. Once. Once a year. Once a year. I like a very nice answer. So, chicos, ayúdenme con cinco preguntitas. Help me, please, with five questions. Utilizando how often do you. Hasta acá van a utilizar el inicio. No lo vayan a cambiar because this is the way how we ask questions. How often do you? How often do you drink? How often do you drive? How often do you read? Que tenga menudo pelean con el jefe, how often do you, I don't know, talk Buenos back días. to your boss, 
So, Sorry, Paige. <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got four minutes. Tienen cuatro minutitos. You got four minutes. Go, guys. Go. Teacher, yo les envío a todos. O cada quien va a hacerlo así. No, mis, no, lo, no los voy a enviar. Solamente estamos terminando las cuatro preguntitas. Usando how often do you? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Gracias. No, no los, no los voy a enviar en grupo. No worries. Uh -huh. <laughs> Daddy says, how often do you sleep at the office? Now, really? Guys. Has anybody slept at the office? Alguien ha dormido en la oficina? How often do you sleep at the office? Me. Sometimes. Me. How? Sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. But how often? How often, guys? So in my case, I never sleep. I never sleep at the office. What about you? How often? Anna? Yes, teacher. No le oí la pregunta. How often, do, oh, la que está en el chat, Miss. How often do you sleep at the office? Never, teacher. ¿Qué tan a menudo se duerme? Never, teacher. Never. Ahí no se puede. Ah, oh, no, in my case. Oh, I cannot do that. Daisy, how often do you sleep at your office? Once a week. No, but, but, but sleep, like, así de dormir, you know? En Baviar, en everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once a week. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Really. And, and, well, lo que pasa es que me imagino que tiene una oficina cerrada, right? Yes. So, when that is the case, you can do it. Otherwise, I don't think so. <laughs> so, okay. Once a week. Interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, ¿qué otras preguntas tienen? Share your questions. Compartan las preguntas. Share your questions. How often do you buy shoes? Okay, very good question. How often do you buy shoes? People? Um, every month? Every year? Twice a year? Twice a year, teacher. Twice a year, okay. Boys, what about you boys? How often do you buy shoes? Renee, how often do you buy shoes? Once a year. Only once a year, Only okay. Year. Jesus, what about you? How often do you buy some shoes? Six months. Like once every six months? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, once every six months. All right, okay, that's okay. Norberto has a question for everybody. So this is how often do you work extra hours? Okay, that's a good question, Norberto. Solo le voy a cambiar un pedacito ahí al final. La palabra extra hours for overtime. Y como a veces queremos hacerlo más cortito, le llamamos también OT. So how often do you work OT? Mm -hmm. Or how often do you work overtime? 
So how often do you work overtime? In my case, never. <laughs> what about you? How often do you work overtime? Elizabeth, how often do you work overtime? Elizabeth, Sandra. Hello. Hi there. So what about this question? How often do you work overtime? Que tan a menudo tiene horas extra. How often do you work overtime? Never. Never. Todos los sábados. Every Saturday. Pero pagadas, right? So you get extra money. Sí. Nice. No pay. Yes. No pay. Oh no my God. No, I mean, pero si son pagadas, it's like, okay, I'm happy to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see, let me see. Ingrid has another question. Ingrid, please, ayúdenos con su pregunta. What's your question? Ingrid? Hello, hello, perdón. Hello. Uh, how often, often do you go to the beach? Okay, so guys, how often do you go to the beach? Um, weekly. What? Can you have weekly? Uh, I. Oh, Danny. So you go yes. to the beach weekly? Yes. Oh, wow. That sounds um, super we cool. Weekend. Weekend. Yeah, but weekly, like todos yes. los semanalmente, weekly. Yes. Nice. So wow. I saw envy you. Very nice. <laughs> Super <laughs> cool. Okay, guys, what about the rest? How often do you go to the beach? I go to money. Beach. Daisy? How often, Daisy? How often do you eat pupusas? Oh, you get another question. Okay. How often do you yes. eat pupusas? I think that's like very common for us Salvadorian, right? <laughs> Guys, how often do you eat pupusas? <laughs> Alguien come todos los días. Every day. You eat every day. No. 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 But like every, every day, how often do you practice English? That's a very good one. Guys, aparte de la clase que tengan menudo practiquen inglés. How often do you practice English? Never. Have you ever? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Rarely. Rarely. Giovanni, Giovanni, are you with us? Always, teacher. Do you still practice with Danny? Yes. Nice. Giovanni and Danny, they practice English every day at the office. Imagine. So, yes. Excellent, Giovanni. I like it. So, están, están mejorando as a lot, a lot, believe me. So, trabajan juntos, right? You still work together. Just teacher. Yeah, so they told me last time que durante el lunch, during the day, ellos se, se hacen preguntas, you know, and they practice. Super cool. I like it. Um, these guys have other questions. Yaritza, I don't know if you can read your question. So, puede leer la pregunta that you have? Que le lea la pregunta que yo le hice. Yes, please. For some reason, no sé si, si tiene un otro significado or something. <laughs> so please go okay. ahead and read it. Okay. How often do you drink coffee with your boss? Okay. Oh, never. never. So, yeah. Never. I, I don't know. No sé si implica algo más, never. but that's a very good question. How often yeah. do you drink coffee with your boss? Que si alguna vez, ¿qué tan, sí. como que, sí, ¿qué tan seguido tomas café con tu jefe? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I mean, yes, Conmigo your question también. is super good. Every day. Every, Every day. day. Every day. Wow. Wow. Tienen buena compañía. relación con su jefe. You got a good relationship with your boss. Yes. Yes. Nice. So, ¿quién más toma café todos los días con el jefe? Norberto. Me. Never. Jocelyn does? Okay. 
cool. But but not coffee. Um, Sora every day. Okay, so but still, Together. I mean, uh huh. So you get a good relationship. Brenda says me never. Okay, sorry whiskey. about that. Whiskey. Whiskey. Okay, excuse whiskey. me. That's a different level, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So creo que yeah, that's a, like a like a day out. Uh huh. No, some... coffee with Guys, coffee tenemos with cuatro minutitos, so I want to take advantage. Excelente trabajo con el how often. No sentí que les costara. Fue super fácil. You got it. So I'm really happy about it. Of course, vamos a seguir practicando porque nos faltan más, right? Pero quiero mostrarles algo. Eh, el día de ayer no, nos hicieron falta dos personas, entonces no, no quise mostrarlo, right? Pero quiero mostrarles rapidito la plataforma. Entiendo que todos tienen ya accesos, nadie, a nadie se le ha bloqueado el usuario, right? Y todos han descargado el material. Sí se, le bloqueó. se le bloqueó el, el usuario mismo. 24 horas Ayer. le dieron, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, pero mientras se le desbloquea, pero sí tiene acceso, solo es que se le bloqueó. So, yes. Por lo general yo dejo abierta mi sesión porque siempre se me olvida la contraseña. So, y la sí, plataforma... Tenía abierta, pero la Hoy no parecía. Ah, ok. Sí, la, plata, la plataforma es como bien sensible en tema de seguridad. Así que si lo pueden dejar guardado, that would be super cool. Ustedes tienen algo así. Van a tener cursos y este es el módulo 2. Ok, so um, here, cuando ustedes empiecen a navegar, por si ya lo hicieron, por si no lo han hecho, van a encontrar cuatro sesiones. So cada una de ellas corresponde a una semana. So estamos en la semana 1, section number 1. Ok, and vamos a completar una tarea diaria. So it's one homework every single day. El de ayer fue Simple Present Tense Review. La tarea 1 fue la que sí, les compartí en el grupo, right? Que es no, esta de acá, la cual espero que la hayan completado, compañeros. Today, revisamos el tema Time Expressions for Regular Activities, ok? Y esta de acá va a ser la tarea de ahora, tarea número 2. Está súper cortita, está bien fácil. Si ven, dice, I take a shower every minute, every day. Um, two times a year, so, no sé ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero, uh, ok, tienen que seleccionar la respuesta que sea más acorde, you know? That's it, cuando Bien, terminen, asegúrense de darle clic en enviar. Si lo tienen en inglés, les va a aparecer submit. Tienen que darle clic para que su nota vaya incrementando. ¿Dónde reviso la nota? Donde dice progreso. Le dan clic en progreso y ahí van a ver una barrita. Ya no he completado ninguna actividad por el momento, entonces cuando la complete, esta barrita me va a ir subiendo. Entonces, y acá están todas las notas. Necesitamos, como les he comentado en, en ocasiones anteriores, al menos el 80% en el total, en la nota final. Y algo bien importante, chicos, yo les agradezco enormemente por su participación, por estar siempre acá ya que Insafor nos pide 100% de participación en la clase. Y a esto me refiero a la conexión. Lastimosamente, por enfermedad, por algo de fuerza mayor, no tengo la autorización de brindarles permiso, right? So no, no puedo decirles sí, no se conecta. This is definitivamente fuera de mis manos. Así que a veces voy a estar ahí molestándolos. Mire, conéctese a un ratitito porque su, su asistencia es bien importante, you know. Eh, para nosotros y por quien Safor lo solicita de esta manera. So, el día de mañana miércoles comenzamos con las sesiones uno a uno, que son 10 minutitos extra eh, para darles como seguimiento con algún tema. Ya les voy a mandar la calendarización para que ustedes lo consideren. Chicos, it's time, pero ayer se me olvidó tomar la foto de inicio del módulo, así que quiero la foto, you know. I want to share this. Sorry, no les avisé. Yo sé que algunos ya están con cara de sueño and everything. But help me, please, just a little while. Uh, ayúdenme con su camarita. Help me with your camera. Activate it. And let me see your faces, que todavía están alive. <laughs> thank you so much. Jerixa, please, thank you so much. No sé qué me falta. Ah, Dani se salió, se desconectó. That's so bad. Okay, so smile, please. Say cheese. Okay. And let me take the picture. One, two, and three. 
Ah, qué lindo se ve. Very cool. Ok, guys, ya les comparto sí. la foto. Thank you so much. El mejor Have perfil, el mejor perfil. El, el, Con la cara mejor. de dormido. Pero... Solo una tomé. <ríe> sí, Con espero que hayan salido sí. bonitos. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you, miss. Have a good night. Bye, bye guys. See you guys. Bye, bye.